Hello, uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a uh, uh, prophecy for Katsai, and uh, I, um, I'll just uh, dedicate this to the Lord. Dear Father, I pray that you'd give me words, uh, words to encourage her, to lift her up, and to bless her, and inspire her. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen. I want to thank you for your donation. Um, that uh, money is uh, going towards uh, the editing of my next book, and it's uh, it's a great help um, helping towards that money I've got to pay next week. So uh, that's really good. Um, I get a picture of uh, of a hand glider. Uh, you know uh, those gliders that go off the top of mountains uh, with uh, a person holding on like that. Um, they're called hand gliders. So I get a picture of a hand glider, and I feel that um, that the Lord wants to uh, take you uh, to a position of height, um, uh, to a position of uh, height in Him, um, spiritual height. Uh, and also he wants to take you alone um, and uh, have you uh, exercising real freedom in the Holy Spirit. Um, I feel that um, that's a picture of uh, freedom and uh, it's a picture of, uh, of of being really free in the in in, in the uh, environment and uh, peace and joy and uh, really relaxation and peaceful uh, environment and um, I I feel that uh, it's the same sort of territory that you'd see an eagle in and uh, I feel that. Um, uh, being on a hand glider would also be sort of prophetic in a way that uh, you'd have spiritual sight. And uh, there's a book uh, called um, How to See in the Spirit Made Simple. And um, that's a book uh, I encourage you to get. It's called, uh, it's written by a praying medic, um, P-R-A-Y-N-G, praying medic, M-E-D-I-C. Uh, it's called How to See in the Spirit Made Simple. Um, I really feel that uh, the Lord wants to uh, uh, teach you and uh, train you uh, to see in the Holy Spirit. I, I really feel that this hand gliding is uh, about that, that uh, the Lord wants to uh, bring you into a spiritual heightened place a place of uh, heightened abilities and heightened skills. Um, I really feel that uh, the Lord wants to uh, interact with you with uh, the supernatural and uh, and uh, show you His angels and show you Himself and um, and uh, take you into a place of intimacy um, where you're free. Um, I, I get a strong sense around this hand glider that uh, it's it's a special place uh, where uh, you're alone, and um, I, uh, you know, I uh, have got friends on Facebook and friends uh, at church, but I particularly alone uh, most of the time, and um, there's a real intimacy that uh, you uh, a depth and intimacy that uh, you develop with the Lord uh, when you spend time alone with Him. And um, you don't see many hand gliders uh, with two people on them. Um, you can have it uh, if someone's learning how to do it. Uh, you can have it, but mostly you see them by themselves. And um, I'm not talking in any way uh, what it's got to do with relationships, or uh, I'm not talk specific talk talking about uh, you being alone uh, as a person. I'm just uh, seeing that uh, the Lord wants to develop a, a special intimacy and uh, uh, he wants to take you to a spiritual height uh, in the heavens like, uh, like an eagle and have you flying uh, with uh, spiritual sight and spiritual intimacy. So...
that's the first picture it's a very peaceful scene it's very serene and uh, he wants to take you to uh, a place where uh, you're um, spiritually uh, spiritually uh, captivated by the view and you're spiritually captivated by the serenity of everything um, it's a it's a really special vision that I'm seeing and uh, and uh, there, there's uh, you know, uh, great uh, landscapes to see, uh, and uh, I, I can see a very nice, uh, picturesque uh, sort of view from this hang glider that I can see. So um, I pray that uh, that blesses you, and I pray that uh, you can uh, see yourself uh, uh, reading that book and uh, developing the skills. Uh, to see in the Holy Spirit and uh, to, to see in the Spirit and uh, to be able to uh, interact with angels and interact with Jesus and saints from heaven. Um, I really feel that, that that's uh, um, calling. Um, I also see a picture of, uh, of a red umbrella. Um, I'm not sure if you like the color red, um, but... Uh, Red so sometimes uh, stands for uh, the enemy, but uh, in this instance, it's uh, just a really bright colour, and it's a colour that stands out. Um, this umbrella is like a personal umbrella, and I feel that um, it stands for uh, the fact that you've got this personal covering, uh, just a personal covering uh, from the Lord, uh, over your life, uh, that uh, the Lord wants you to know that uh, you're covered uh, by Him. Um, some people uh, are encouraged to have mentors and uh, and search out mentors, and people have suggested it for my life. But uh, God has never allowed uh, me to get a mentor. He's uh, He's uh, had Jesus there all the time as a mentor uh, in my life, and uh, personally personally instructing me. I really feel that um, the same is uh, true uh, for you, that, um, that that the Lord Jesus wants to uh, be your covering. And um, you, you might like the uh, colour red. Um, normally you have umbrellas that are black. Um, but uh, this one's red and it's really bright and uh, it's uh, a, you know it would be a fabulous lipstick um, the color that I can see and uh, it's really bright and um, it probably stands for the fact that um, you've got this uh, bright future ahead uh, with this covering and this personal relationship uh, with the Lord I, I can't escape uh, the picture of the hang glider it's just so serene and peaceful and um, with this covering that uh, the Lord has got with this uh, um, colored umbrella um, I can see uh, things moving along really smoothly um, Jesus uh, really wants to speak to you and uh, really wants to develop a very close and <coughs> intimate relationship with you uh, speaking back and forth with you and communicating with you um, I'm not sure you can write in your feedback if uh, Jesus uh, speaks to you uh, in conversational uh, uh, conversation uh, that he speaks to you back and forth uh, in your mind. Um, uh, perhaps uh, I can give you some exercises to uh, develop that skill, but um, he really loves you and uh, he's got you. And um, I can see on the hand glider now, I can see him with you uh, riding uh, the currents of the, the, uh, the wind uh, with you, uh, holding your hand and uh, gliding with you uh, through the air. Um, I, um, I also get a picture of... Uh, of a mouse uh, from from uh, the vantage point of the hang glider, you probably couldn't see it, but it's like it's like you're an eagle that you've got this amazing sight, and an eagle uh, way up in the sky can see a mouse on the ground, 
And it's like uh, Jesus wants to give you this really specific, uh, uh, really uh, powerful uh, sight, uh, spiritual sight. And um, the mouse uh, just represents uh, part of life and uh, a circumstance that's happening in life. And I feel that um, the Lord's going to uh, show you things uh, out in in advance. He's going to show you uh, things in the future. He's going to uh, open up a spiritual understanding to you on a corporate sense and on a um, on a local church sense and in a personal life sense. He's going to open up this vision for you, but you'll be able to see specifics into uh, into mundane things and uh, things that are uh, people. People would just consider um, uh, mundane uh, sort of events and just uh, a little event in their life. You, you'll be able to have this vision and this understanding from the throne room um, on, on all sorts of situations in your life and uh, be able to make decisions, uh, big decisions and small decisions based on what you can see, what uh, Jesus can uh, spiritually uh, show you and uh, help you discern in your life. So um, I feel that's what the image of the little mouse represents, just uh, represents a, a little portion of life, a, a mundane sort of thing. But for a, a eagle, it could be uh, food for the eagle. So uh, it's a part of uh, the eagle's daily existence. So I pray that uh, this has uh, blessed you. Um, I look forward to, I was tempted to watch the other videos uh, that, um, that I've done for you to get a feel for you, uh, to get an understanding because I do so many prophecies I, I forget. Um, but uh, I purposely didn't uh, because I wanted something fresh for you. So I pray that uh, this has blessed you and I pray that uh, you can write to me and give me some feedback. Um, I really uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Amen.